My major focus really is to target the young people. Uh, I, I think that there's an opportunity as a peace builder to, to challenge young people to be creative. In the civil rights movement, you know, and I come out of that era, uh, it was really the young people, the high school students, the college students, the university students, who really made a difference. And so my focus is to let young people know that this world is yours. It, it, you don't have to wait until you're 35, 45, 55 to take hold of the leadership that is already within you. And I, I would like to really challenge the young people to, to, to fuse the energy, their energy, with the wisdom of some of those who, who have come before them, who have the experience, who, who, who have the expertise, who have been involved in, in peace building. But we've got to involve young people. You know, we look at the violence that is happening in our communities. We look at the violence, be it black on black violence, be it youth violence, be it f family violence. Young people need to know that there is a way out. Young people need to know that there is an alternative. And we need to challenge them to be creative, to take hold of their future right now. And so I think that UPF, through the sports festivals or Sports for Peace or uh, through the character building program, what it does is it, it removes the barriers. Uh, it removes barriers of religion. It removes barriers of culture. It removes barriers of tradition. And I think it puts young people uh, in, in, in a pure environment uh, where they're starting almost from scratch. Uh, and it, it really does force them uh, to look within, you know, not look at the things that make us different, but look, looks at the things that make us similar. And I think that that's what the UPF program does. It removes the layers that we have created to force us to be uh, divisive or to, to, to create the boundaries or the walls.